This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look at primary trend lines. And by that, I mean trend lines that are more important to any trading instrument. Now, let's take a look here. We have a price trend line going back to 2009. We can draw it this way. Or we can find another trend line this way. Or we can even draw another trend line this way. And what I'm doing is just connecting monthly closing lows. So all these are connected to monthly closing lows. Now, these are the trend lines that I can see. And I'm sure there are others, but on this long-term monthly chart, those are some of the trend lines. Now, let me give you a different view by only considering the RSI. And of course, we can see that on this particular instrument, this is the all-time monthly closing low on the RSI. And I'm just going to draw a trend line like that. And this trend line connects to the lows here touches that trend line low and now here we are notice the difference there is a huge difference between the price trend lines and this trend line why because what this RSI is telling us something price is not telling us this trend line is not telling us that this trend line is not telling us that this trend line is not telling us that but this trend line is telling us there is a possibility, a major one, that a break of this line is going to lead to a massive sell-off. Why? Because this is a multi-year, long-term trend line. It is more powerful given the fact that it connects to an all-time low and goes back almost 10 years. So if you are watching this, and you're sensitive to this, then you are aware that a break of this trend line might actually lead to a massive sell-off. Something, a trend line break here, might not be able to tell you. What's the point? My point is, it is always important to also check the RSI because the RSI can give you a different view. And here's a good example where the RSI is telling us to be careful that any slippage of prices here on a monthly basis can actually lead to a massive sell-off. Something the trend lines as corresponds to price are not able to tell us based on this trend line here, which is not relevant right now, based on this trend line, which is not relevant. This trend line is more relevant but it doesn't give us the picture that the RSI is giving us that a break of the trend line here might actually lead to a massive change in behavior. So what we can do is take a look at the weekly and use the recent weekly closing lows either this weekly closing low or this weekly closing low somewhere around 73 and should we go on to break the weekly lows then that would be a sign that this is where things are changing and that the primary trend line break on the monthly chart is taking shape and that we should be careful not to find ourselves part of a massive move to the downside. There should be a link in the description of the video that goes more into primary trend lines. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E-A-C-S. Yes.